Good morning. My name is Kathleen Flannery, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Interim Vice President for University Advancement here at Pittsburgh State University. I want to welcome you all to the Linda and Lee Scott Performance Hall inside the beautiful Bicknell Family Center for the Arts. Thank you for being here today for what is sure to be a milestone event in the history of Pittsburgh State University. Also, I want to thank everyone who has made this event possible and to say hello and welcome to those of you watching this on live video stream at pittstate.tv. Thank you for joining us as well. We are here today for an incredibly exciting announcement and it is my honor and privilege to introduce the man who will tell us all about it. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the ninth president of Pittsburgh State University, Dr. Steve Scott. All right, good morning everybody. Thank you Kathleen for getting things started. Thank everybody for being here with us this morning and I just heard from Chris, Chris Kelly that we have well over 300 people connected via pittstate.tv. So welcome them to this, uh, to this event, a very, very exciting day. You know, I get pretty ener energized when we get together like this because it usually means we have some exciting news to share with you and that's certainly the case today. In fact, we have two pieces of news that I think you'll find absolutely amazing. And honestly, I'm not exaggerating. In many ways, today is about the fulfillment of a vision and the people who are making it possible. As you've seen over the past few years, we continue to work together to achieve some pretty remarkable things, despite the headwinds that we regularly face. Our efforts and our accomplishments continue to attract the attention and support of our alums, our donors, boosters, community, and our students. And today what we're announcing is the fulfillment of a vision. In essence, it's a dream come true. When we set out to construct this beautiful facility, we did so with the vision of creating a new era of expanded opportunities by introducing our students, faculty, staff, and citizens to a wide range of artistic and enriching experiences. Our goal was to bring to this region musicians, artists, dancers, and other performers who we've heard about but we never thought we'd see in Southeast Kansas. And yet within the first year, we've done just that. It's pretty remarkable. Think about it for a moment. Before this building had its first birthday, we had welcomed former First Lady Laura Bush, an MTV star, Stomp, and a myriad of entertaining and inspiring musical performances, such as military bands, the Hot Sardines, and that was a great performance, and the Dallas Brass, and so was that. In addition, our own SEK Symphony and our student and faculty performers have graced this stage and filled this venue with exceptional music. Last Thursday night was a great example of that. And if that's not enough, in just a few weeks, we'll welcome the first of three Broadway musicals to this stage where we've convened this morning. I'm not sure I would have believed a few years ago, even on December 7th of last year, that we could have accomplished this. Together we've accomplished so much already and we're very grateful, I'm very grateful to all those who've made these things happen. I think, it's a, I think this is a good moment before we moved into the announcement phase to thank everybody who's helped with this. You just think about the physical plant, the employees of this building, student life, academic affairs, all the different people who have contributed to make this building what it is and allow us to achieve the vision that we've achieved. So let's give folks who've done that a round of applause. Well, believe it or not, there's one thing on our wish list that we haven't accomplished yet, and that's to bring to the Bicknell Family Center for the Arts and to this campus and to, to this community a lecture series featuring speakers from various backgrounds and disciplines, all sharing one thing in common, their stature as national and even international figures. I like to call them thought leaders, people from all walks of life who've taken their own unique pathway to prominence, to borrow a phrase from our new strategic plan. Business leaders, government officials, scientists, authors, doctors, success stories from across the country and around the globe. We want these people on our campus to share their stories and their ideas with our students, faculty, staff, and community. And until today, until this moment, this is the missing piece for our ambitious programming effort for this facility. And I think that's what makes today so exciting. For today, I am deeply honored to be able to announce the creation of the H. Lee Scott Speaker Series at Pittsburgh State University. It's, 
Yes, I think that's right. This series will be devoted to examining American life through the lens of highly prominent individuals. And keep that, that phrase in mind, highly prominent individuals. This series is made possible by a gift of more than $2 million from former Walmart president and CEO H. Lee Scott and his wife Linda. And by the way, they're watching online today. So Lee and Linda, thank you all very much and thank you for joining us. I know I'm a little biased because Lee is my brother, Linda is my sister-in-law, but to me this is one of the most significant and distinctive gifts ever provided to Pittsburgh State University. Its impact will be felt for years to come. Of course, it's only fitting that this announcement be made inside the Linda and Lee Scott Performance Hall. Their encouragement of the Walton Family Foundation to invest in the Bicknell Center was critical to the completion of this beautiful facility. That gift resulted in the naming of this venue after Linda and Lee, and we'll be forever grateful to them for directing that gift our way. Even with that gift in place, Linda and Lee wanted to do more in support of Lee's alma mater. And given Lee's accomplishments as a leader of unparalleled scale, it seemed fitting that he and Linda would underwrite in perpetuity an endowed speaker series. Hence, this series will carry his name. When I asked him to share with me his vision for the series, he provided the quote that you now see on the screen. And for an educational institution that's so committed to our students and their success, I don't think it's possible to better articulate what this speaker series means to us. Isn't that a great quote? We hope the exposure to these successful leaders will enhance the educational experiences for our students and inspire them to someday be invited to speak about leadership on this same stage. Wow, I love that. I absolutely love that. That's quite appropriate coming from Lee, too, because not all that long ago, he was a young business student here at Pittsburgh State, looking up to thought leaders and leaders across the country, hoping that one day he may be able to rise to their level. And of course, he did. He became the CEO of the world's largest company, and he did so with great success. During Lee's more than nine years as president and CEO of Walmart, he oversaw a 243% increase in Walmart's global sales, from $165 billion to $401 billion, and a 277% increase in earnings. He expanded Walmart's operations from 10 to 16 countries, and profits also rose 249% to well over $13 billion. And during his last year as CEO, Walmart was the best performing stock in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Not a bad record for a guy from Baxter Springs, Kansas, and a 1971 graduate of Pittsburgh State University. Now, by helping us create this speaker series, Lee is sharing his success to help inspire others. And who knows where that will lead? Is the future CEO of Walmart in our classrooms today? Is the scientist that cures cancer in our labs? Will the next big idea in social media come from one of our students in a residence hall? Lee has certainly shown us what is possible. And as Lee said, it's our hope and vision for this speaker series to inspire greatness by exposing the campus and the community to people who, like Lee, took one step toward a dream and never looked back. We're honored and thrilled to announce this series today, and we're so thankful for this gift and how it's sure to impact our students and this region for decades to come. Let's have one more round of applause for Lee and Linda. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And if that's not enough news, I think I said I had two pieces of news, so I've got one more piece of news, okay? It wouldn't be, around, it wouldn't be right just to announce that we have a speaker series without also announcing who the inaugural speaker is. So this morning, we're prepared to share that with you here in just a couple of minutes. When Lee and I talked about who would be our first speaker, Lee asked me if you could have anyone in the world, who would it be? And I actually had someone in mind, and so did he. This person, and there'll be some clues along the way as I describe this person, who like Lee came from humble beginnings of a very small town, yet rose to become quite successful in his field. In fact, he became a world leader. He's someone who Lee has come to know quite well, and he's someone Lee and I spent some time with a few years ago in a residence that's located on the top floor of a library. I believe it was a presidential library. If I remember right, there was blackberry cobbler topped with some vanilla ice cream, 
Our host shared his views on a number of topics as Lee and Linda, Kathy and I sat around the dining room table. It was quite a moment. And I was sitting there and I was thinking, is this for real? How is this possible? And I know I was just along for the ride, but I still had a thought of how did these two guys from Baxter Springs and Pittsburgh State University end up sitting in a room with this person? Sitting in a room with a person leading the world's largest company and another person who is a leader of the world's greatest superpower. Crazy, crazy to be sure. It was a moment that I thought would never happen again and it was that special. Well, I'm very excited to, to stand here today and say I was wrong. It is happening again very soon and it's happening right here on the Bicknell Center, in the Bicknell Center building and on the, in the lead, see I'm getting tied up because I'm getting to the announcement, it's just pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty nervous about this because it's a big deal and Lee is watching me, he's a great public speaker, so anyway, I did okay till then. It's a big deal that we're gonna have this on this stage and this person is gonna join us. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to announce that the inaugural speaker of the H. Lee Scott Speaker Series is President Bill Clinton, founder of the Clinton Foundation and the 42nd President. Amazing. As you see on the screen, President Clinton will join us at 4 p.m. on November 23rd. That's very soon, inside this hall, inside the Linda and Lee Scott Performance Hall. Not only is this incredibly exciting, it's also historic. President Clinton's visit will mark the first time a former or current president of the United States visits the campus of Pittsburgh State University, the very first time. And you know what I have to say about that? Wow. I'm known for saying, wow. I think today it's a wow with a capital W and about three exclamation marks following it. I know I say that a lot, but we have some terrific things that we accomplished and this is certainly one of them today. This is exactly the caliber of speaker we had in mind as we began to plan for the Bicknell Center and the concept and vision of a speaker series emerged. This is where we wanted to be. So on behalf of the university, I wanna thank President Clinton, especially wanna thank Linda and Lee Scott and everyone who helped make this possible. And today I want to thank you for joining us and sharing the excitement of this. I could tell by the applause, lots of excitement about both of our announcements, so I thank you for being here. So at this time, Kathleen will step back in front of the microphone and she's probably got some information about tickets. Thank you all very much. Thank you, President Scott. And I think we all agree that was certainly a wow moment for us at Pittsburgh State as well as for our entire region. It's very, very exciting news. Now I'm sure we're all wondering the same thing. How do we get tickets for this 4 p.m. event on Monday, November 23rd? Well, here's how. Tickets for President Clinton's visit will go on sale at 8.30 a.m. next Monday, November 9th. That's next Monday, November 9th, at 8.30 in the morning. You can purchase tickets at the Pitt State Ticket Office inside the Weed Physical Education Building. You can do it via telephone at 620-235-4796 or online at pittstate.edu slash tickets. Ticket prices vary. They will start at $40 for the general public, $35 for current or retired faculty and staff, and $15 for current PSU students. A full, a full list of ticket prices as well as guidelines will be able to be found at BicknellCenter.com. That's BicknellCenter.com. Again, thank you all for being here on this very special day, and a special thank you to President Bill Clinton, Linda and Lee Scott, and last but certainly not least, our own president, Dr. Steve Scott, for sharing this historic news with us. Let's have one more round of applause for the H. Lee Scott Speaker Series at Pittsburgh State University.